Your mouth is a creative weapon. It's not a tool for distributing excuses. The first sign of a loser is an excuse. Champions take full responsibility, good or bad, for their outcomes. Tell the world one time what you're gonna do, and that's it. Spend less time talking and more time grinding. Think like a champion. Speak like a champion. And then walk it out. Grind 120 all day, every day. Stop making excuses. Champions make adjustments, not excuses. Every time you justify being average, you invite in the enemy. Mediocrity is a dream killer. Your coach, your trainer, your teacher, your boss is not the problem. It's your consistency. You got to make a decision. How bad do you want it? Average is on the left. Success is on the right. You got to choose which one you want. A champion's workout doesn't officially begin until pain arrives. You see, greatness is right on the other side of pain. So what are you running from it for? You say you want to be successful, then push through it. Stop making excuses and go get it. Very few battles are won under ideal circumstances. So you got to simulate and practice the unknown so that the unexpected will not derail you. Every morning when you get up, ask yourself, how can I put myself in a place where I'll be uncomfortable? See, you have to master the unknown. You gotta master your fears. You gotta master the unexpected. So when it happens, you are prepared. Champions can push through and keep going when everyone else around them is quitting. They have immersed themselves in pain so often that they have become immune to it. Greatness is on the other side of pain. Go get it! The more you expose yourself to pain, the more comfortable you will become in its presence. A champion's workout doesn't officially start until pain arrives. Everything else is just a warm-up. A boxer can be the best technician in the world. But if he gets in the ring and the first time he gets hit, he falls apart, he's not going to be a champion, I tell you that. See, and life is just like that with us. We're good until we get hit in the face. But what separates champions from the rest is when they get hit, they keep coming. When you hit them a second time, they get stronger. And by that third time that life hits you and you're still standing, the world will know there's a champion in the ring. How bad do you want to be successful? Do you want it bad enough to get hit in the face? Because I tell you right now, that's what life's going to do to you. It's going to hit you when you least expect it. When you got your guard down, how will you respond? Refuse to let the world break you. Show life what a champion looks like. I'm Billy Osbrooks, blessed and unstoppable. <laughs>
The real challenge of growth, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, comes when you get knocked down. How you handle it, that's where the growth takes place. What has brought you to this point? What did you learn from it? Are you learning anything? Or are you doing it over and over and over again? Are you going through it or are you growing through it? Are you bigger and better because of it? Things are going to happen to you. And the most important thing to do is to harness your will and let it go. I'm in control here. I'm not going to let this get me down. I'm not going to let this destroy me. I'm coming back and I'll be stronger and better because of it. You have got to make a declaration that this is what you stand for. You're standing up for your dreams. You're standing up for peace of mind. You're standing up for help. You want it and you're going to go all out to have it. Yes, I'm going to turn this situation around. I'm not going to sit back and, and moan and cry over what happened and what went wrong and who did what. I'm going to do something about this situation. Expect things to get better for you because they are. See, life is cyclic. Whatever experience you're having right now, it has not come to stay. It has come to pass. Listen to me very closely. If you don't have belief, if you don't have hope, if you don't have faith, you ain't got nothing. The first level to success in the classroom, the first level to success in school, the first level to success in sports, the first level to success in life. Listen to me, the very first level, the very first level is you seeing it. Like it's clear to you. Like you know exactly, exactly what you want. You know exactly when you want it. Listen to me. You know exactly what it tastes like. You know what it looks like. You know what it smells like. Before you really blow up, blow up, and you get success, like you literally have it in the palm of your hand without having it. What does your dream look like? What does it smell like? What does it taste like? Who gave me five grand when I was at Michigan State doing my program? I didn't get it. I didn't have no budget, but I didn't need a budget. I had a dream. I didn't need no help. The president never came and said to me, ET, we're going to help your program for this institution blow up. The president never came and I never quit. I never gave up. Why? Because it wasn't her dream in the first place. It was my dream. It was my goal. I don't expect you to believe in my dream like I believe in my dream. And the problem with some of y'all is you want somebody else to support your dream. It's yours. It's, yours. it's your dream. If you want it to happen, get your butt up and make it happen. If you want it to happen, rise and grind. And I had a teacher in the PhD program to tell me I love it. She said, Eric, you don't write well enough to get a PhD. I said, thank you. You're going to be the first person I call when I finish and sign you a copy. The people who blew up, they blew up because there was something that was going wrong in their life and they took that pain and they turned that pain into something. How do you go to class when it's 10 degrees and 12 inches of snow? You know how you do it? Because you know your mama broke and she working two jobs and taking on a loan for you to go to school. I laugh at kids whose parents are broke and they up there partying like everybody else. Your mama broke. Some of us, we taking our loans and sending it home so people can pay rent. That money ain't even going to college, and we still going to parties. I'm saying, what kind of brotherhood is that? When you got my man up at 2 o'clock in the morning washing your car and going to get you groceries when you should be helping this kid to study. Listen to me. If you don't have hope, if you don't have faith, if you don't have belief, you ain't got nothing. I want my son to have a better life than I had. I don't want my son begging like I had to beg. 
I don't want my son to ever think he got to sell dope or he got to steal from the mall.